Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect Escapes. Today's beverage is a very, very refreshing brand emitted sparkling water infused with mango, passion fruit, guava, orange, etc. So welcome back to Prison Architect Escapes. This is a series where we attempt to break out of facilities not made by me. This is Prison Armand, prison number 5994025 and... We also ran over some other inmates there as we turned up. And yes, we're going to try to break out of this, which is, um, by the creator's own admission, quite an old design. I believe this is about eight years old, so I've been informed. And that's pretty much all I know about it, other than it's a quite large facility as well. And yeah, we're going to see if we can break out of this one. I'm already seeing a bit of a weak point out the front here because there's no road barrier. Now, that could be because the barrier wasn't in at the time, or whether it's just an omission because of, well, design, or even just the save being old. Uh, I'm seeing other security features in place though, so we've got things like all of the security right at the front, we've got armed guards, we've got tasers, we've got body armour, a morgue right at the front which is a decent place to put it to be fair. I'm also seeing lots of fire suppression as well and some switches, we've got a reception there, we've got looks to be a central staff only spine that goes right down the middle. I tend to do these on a lot of my designs as well, and they are pretty good. I tell you what, the fire suppression is absolutely superb. I mean, well done to well done to them for that one. We've also seen metal detectors on the cell blocks, so maybe going through there is going to be interesting. I'm pretty much going to rule out tunneling from the very, very start because, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to work out. We've got some armed guards in the centre here. I'm seeing some mixed category of prisoners. We've got some low and medium risk. And, yes, we are being placed right in the center so we are not going to do a tunneling operation we will have to farm some points so i mean smashing some of this stuff up but i'm gonna have a look around first so we've got some weight benches in here we've got um an interesting setup for the toilet on the left and the shower on the right there and this is a quite large cell block we have appears to be a quite central quite central canteen with lots of metal detectors we also have an open area for oh interesting this is an open area for the kitchen which actually feeds off to two canteens oh, okay that's pretty good and ah there we go so there is the wall and um, that is a staff only area no doubt we'll have uh, guards patrolling there as well as some doggos we've got double thick perimeter wall so tunneling under that yeah we don't have time for that. Uh, let's have a look on the left here and see if it's the same to the left. Yeah, it is the same to the left. I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that this goes... Oh, what's happened here then? Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that this goes pretty much all the way around. Yeah, most likely. I mean, we can find out, so I'm just going to get tears and skip punishments. Fine, no problem. And have we been given a different cell? No, we haven't. Uh, that does happen, though, and people have commented on that in the past. Anyway, so didn't find anything there. Let's have a look down here, and this is the central spine that we mentioned, but you can go to the different cell blocks. This is going to be a mirrored version of the other one, isn't it? Probably, yeah. That's, uh... Oh, those are not super capacitors, because those didn't exist when this thing was created. Not that you can't retrofit things, you understand. We've also got, underneath, we've got grates for, I think, more of an aesthetic touch. On the left, we have a mail room with metal detectors. We have a library with metal detectors. We have a classroom. We have a chapel. So it's fairly kitted out, this thing. Uh, that's okay. And then if we go down, we've got a workshop as well. So we could get something from the workshop if we're so inclined. I'm noticing a lot of doors open, so that could mean a number of things. Most likely, this is actually set to unlocked. Hmm. It is possible it's set to unlocked rather than, uh, rather than say, put it to uh, like each individual door. That would be my guess because all of these doors are unlocked. Hmm. These don't have metal detectors on this side. I wonder if it actually matters. We've got a visitation here but it's with the visitor booths rather than the uh there's a lighter there that could be that could be something we could go for we can't burn through the perimeter wall but there might be other things we can look at um yeah okay we've got the booths and i'm noticing this here that just looks like a distinct gap for where a sniper tower would have been so far the only weakness is this on the right hand side that i'm seeing that there's no perimeter wall here and no gates. Now, I don't know whether that, as I said, is an emission or not. I'm going to have a run around. So, we're just going to have a run. We've got no traits. I'm just doing a bit of a recce here. There's a forestry. 
There's a sniper tower with no snipers in it. That's the way out. I found the way out. Oh, no, there is a sniper there. Okay. All right. So, interesting. Okay. I think that's the way out. But there's not a sniper tower to the north. I've just spotted it there. Okay. Skip punishments. Let's start. So, we're going to do the standard procedure and just start punching things. Um, I know it's the... A bit of a bore at times, but it's uh, what we have to do. Although sometimes it just can't work, it just doesn't work. I'm uh, just going to skip through that one. All I'm doing here is just farming enough points to try and escape. We're going to go for strong, tough, deadly, uh, quick, instigate a skilled fighter. And we're just going to start again, just punching things here. My whole point is just to farm the points, really. Although guess we need to wait for those guys to actually leave before we start fighting again. Um, it appears that the best thing to punch is... Well, normally it is the... Um, normally it's the shower heads, but apparently the, the gym equipment, which you would think would be exceptionally sturdy by design, it would need to be. Uh, apparently that stuff is very easily broken. <laughs> so I don't want to change category of prisoner. I don't know if there is a high category in the facility but my goal is to not find out let me just go to extremely strong here i'll be picking up all the traits anyway to the extreme level because this is going to be a solo escape um i know some of the escapes i've attempted as well people said well, why don't you skip with multiple people and that's a good idea um I've just in the past when we've done that it's been it's been either really easy or really difficult i like to save that escape for when like there's no other way out other than having to run with lots of people and try to get one person out which some of those are well there's gonna be some of those upcoming i think anyway we're gonna go with extremely tough extremely deadly uh just gonna punch that and just work our way across here and then come down and then into here break that come down into johnson's cell accidentally punch them in the face run away because we're cowards punch that as well and we've got johnson still following us as well as all of the other guys here we'll uh, punch stacy and yeah we're just making a we're just making a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a <laughs> bit of a meal of this one with <laughs> everyone's just uh getting involved here go with exceptionally quick and instigator and then we'll start punching this one there's only going to be a couple more hits that we uh, really need to um make here and that's four that's five points i think we need 11 in total f to finish off and um, there is a doggo running in which is something i don't want to tackle uh, oh actually what's happening there is one of the other inmates has started to fight which is pretty good i have attempted to escape with a oh, there's an armed guard around there there is an armed guard but free fire mustn't be on because they haven't shot at us yet uh, yeah I've, I've attempted to escape via riot and it's never gone very well it's uh yeah being curious on that front just farming the rest of these points until basically the guards have totally given up and then well we'll see i think that'll do us for now so we'll skip that punishment we're gonna go with skilled fighter we could even go with swimmer truth be told there we are okay so we're just gonna rush to the right and i'm just gonna confirm my suspicion about that sniper tower slash guard tower that's missing i do think it is the case so we'll go through here and yep there you go so on the right there i'm not seeing a i'm not seeing a sniper tower i'm just going to rush to the other side and round just to double check that and come around here don't know how many prisoners are in this one but it feels like it could be a quite high amount yeah, so there's the tower there, but the other side didn't have that. So, the best way of getting out is to try and just run out of the door. Hmm. So what we need to do is have the doors open. So we can smash them open if we need to. Another way is to force the door to be open via an alternative means. And that alternative means, I think, is going to be fire think so. Here's the visitor's area. And I'm going to have to break one of these to get through. I mean, I say that. Couldn't I just punch this guy and take his keys? And then break through that and go from there? I probably can, actually. So let's try. So I've got his bat on. 
I now have his keys. Switch over to the baton. All I'm going to do is break this. So I'm trying to break through this. And then we've got a set of keys now. So I'm not seeing a sniper line. That doesn't mean to say that there isn't one. Nope, doesn't appear to be one. So come through here. We come through here. And then we break out the front. And there we go, that's been a bit of Prison Architect Escapes. Overall, a fairly sedate run, but that's fine. We've had uh, quite eventful and indeed failed runs in the past, so variety being the spice of life and all of that. It's been a decent change of pace. For an eight-year-old design, I can't really fault it. I mean, not the purpose of these videos is to be... Uh, judgy or critique the design that's not what these are about it's about uh, figuring out solutions to problems overcoming them and getting out via the most interesting slash funny ways possible this one as i said was just a, a fairly easy way to get out because of either one or two things, either a glaring omission, which is possible. The thing is, there was a guard tower to the south, and there were spaces all around to indicate that guard towers should go there, and the sniper towers and such. But for whatever reason, the one to the north of the main entrance wasn't there, and there was no road gates, and certainly no... Uh, fencing all the way around that would have made it much much more difficult i don't know whether as i said it's the age of the design where it's an omission or whether it's a problem with the save i will give the creator the benefit of the doubt as always but naturally if you have any takeaways from this um feel free to improve the design if it has been helpful either way i hope you have enjoyed this one and as always if you have any tips comments suggestions not just for this facility how you would like to escape how you would have done things differently etc pop them in the comments as well as um yeah any other prisons you want to see me try to break out from Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.